What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm gonna tell you some good news and bad news about SNDL stock. First of all, brief summary about this company. Sandel growers engage in the production and distribution of flower, pre-rolls and vapes. It operates through the following segments – cannabis, ornamental flowers and corporate. The cannabis segment includes legal cultivation and distribution of cannabis products under federally regulated licenses issued by Health Canada. And since my previous video uh, that I made just a couple of days ago, we have uh, some news and uh, here is the first one. And we are remotely full and I know it is not the best source of uh, the news but nevertheless this article was published on March the 20th and uh, it says this is the absolute worst marijuana stock money can buy and here we can see information about the SNDL this is the unquestioned worst pot stock you can buy and uh, I just want to quote you some uh, information and uh, I am partially agree with this and uh, later on I will tell you how SNDL uh, C executives will handle this problem, in my opinion. So the main concern in this article that uh, they have uh, 1.66 billion of uh, shares outstanding and uh, uh, it is a huge, huge amount of uh, shares. They increased uh, their shares by over 1.15 billion shares in roughly 5 months and they, it is a huge amount. Let me quote. If and when Sandel does turn the corner to profitability, it's going to need to generate about 13.7 uh, million uh, US dollars just to produce a single penny in earnings per share. Considering that the uh, company yielded only uh, 49.1 uh, US dollars uh, last year in net sales, and it's highly unlikely that we've ever going to see a meaningful per share profit from Sandel. And second concern is about the dilution as well and uh, it says that this dilution is almost assured to continue. And I am not, uh, not sure about uh, this statement and uh, let, me, uh, let me show you some good news about this company and uh, let me show you how uh, C executives might handle this problem. We are on Seeking Alpha website. And uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, article was published on March 18th and it, uh, this article is uh, uh, earnings uh, call transcript of uh, CEO uh, Zach George on Q4 2020 results. And uh, let me show you this information. Zach George said that Sundial is currently debt free and has an unrestricted cash uh, balance uh, north of uh, $700 million. And we continue to explore strategic opportunity to deploy our capital with focus on maximizing shareholder value. And uh, he added that uh, our investment prog program has yielded positive uh, early results. To date, Sundial invested uh, $58.9 million uh, late in the fourth quarter and uh, further $31.5 million subsequent to the end of 2020 in strategic cannabis-related portfolio investments. We've already generated tax-efficient realized investment income and fees subsequent to year-end uh, of more than $9 million. And uh, I think it's very good uh, for the company that they uh, have uh, enough money to invest uh, in different branches of uh, uh, their industry and let me add uh, some information from uh, Q&A session and uh, here is uh, the question from Temi Chen and uh, he was wondering if Zach could elaborate a bit more on this robust pipeline that he referenced uh, when it comes to additional strategic investments and Zach George responded uh, we are not going to give a lot of in-depth commentary on the specific transactions that we are working on today but what I can tell you is that, generally speaking, the pipeline that we are looking at falls into two main categories. One would be more vanilla merge and acquisitions, uh, and the second would be direct or structured investment. And as you can see, they are on path to invest this money. And uh, this is the way how they will handle the problem of share dilution and how they can handle the problem of potential earnings per share. And also, Zach added, uh, we view the cannabis sector not just in Canada, but internationally, as well as a sector where capital is, in certain cases, being significantly mispriced. With this uh, statement, uh, we can conclude that they want not to add, uh, not to invest uh, their money only in Canada, but uh, they can invest and they want to invest their money uh, worldwide. 
and it is very good for the company to become an international company. Uh, this is the way how they can increase their profits. And next question I want to show you here is a question was asked by David Kidekel and he says maybe I can just ask you a question as well about one of the PRs you made this week in the GV and with the SAF group as well. But specifically on the SPAC strategy here given that some of their capital in the press release indicated that some of it will go towards the, the SPAC. I'm wondering which sector with or subsector, say within cannabis, are you looking at? Is this relevant for a specific geography and uh, is this just uh, one of many kind of your SPAC strategies uh, that we can expect? And uh, Zach George says, so we are not going to comment on this pack until we have appropriate feelings made. And uh, this sentence shows us that they are looking for this pack and they are looking uh, for it right now. They are working on this uh, question and I think it is a brilliant idea for C executives of uh, Sundial to make uh, uh, strategic investments with their money, with their free money. And uh, let me remind you that they are debt free for now. And with this investment, they will increase their sales, they will increase their profits and uh, this is the way how they will be profitable and successful. And uh, with this information, let me show you institutional investors. As you can see, we don't have any purchases and don't have any sales since my previous video. This indicates that uh, all the companies, they hold their position strong and they don't want to sell or they don't want to buy uh, this share right now. They just wait uh, for the next move, next big move for the company and at that point we will see some uh, action right here. And let me show you uh, the short volume ratio of SNDL stock. We are on fintel.io. The latest filling was made on uh, March the 19th. And we have uh, the short volume ratio increased to 32.98%. And uh, this might indicate that uh, with the good news we might go up and uh, this will be a catalyst for short squeeze. And with negative news we might go down. That's why you have to be extremely cautious with the investment in this company. So, uh, before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel with notification bell, in this case you won't miss my next video, and hit the like button, it helps me a lot. Well, I made my previous video uh, right here at this point, and let me show you. On a one hour time frame, we bounce back from this uh, support, as you can see, and now again we have another touch right here and we hovering right above this level, uh, slightly below 0.5 dollars mark. And uh, this is some consolidation phase as you can see from the bottom, from the point where we add our position. And uh, for now we up for about 31%. And this line indicates a trend uh, during past uh, several months and I think uh, it should be very strong support as well for the asset. We might hover right at this level and then we have to respect this line and bounce to the upside from this point. It, this is just my opinion and you have to be extremely cautious uh, with this company uh, and with investments in total. And uh, always uh, do your own due diligence before you decide to invest in certain company. And uh, if you've already done your due, due diligence, then you can add your position right here at the opening hours. But you have to be prepared to see some sell-offs during the next uh, several uh, weeks. And uh, these sell-offs, if you still believe in this company, uh, these sell-offs will give you a more attractive opportunity to enter your position as an investor. And uh, in the long run, I think this company will be successful and they will earn you money. So. Uh, I think uh, that's it for now. I don't have uh, much uh, information to add you from the technical standpoint. And uh, just subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.